This is just a quick video to overview the separation between a goal, a milestone, a metric, and an action. And this has come about to help people now implement having set aside a plan, having worked out what they want to do, how to use these four ideas to create an implementation. So moving away from e-marketing for a moment, let's look at this from the point of view of we have a goal. The goal is drive from the ANU to Sydney. Inside that goal, we've got one metric. That is the expected time. So by the Google Maps, it's three hours, 10 minutes. So we can set ourselves a nice leisurely goal of be in Sydney four hours after leaving the ANU. Milestones in this particular equation, I've preset to here, they are waypoints along the journey. Maruland service station, 7-Eleven service station. At each of these milestones, starting with the Maruland, we can see that there is a set of sub-metrics. So you leave from the ANU one hour and 20 minutes later and 120 kilometers later, you should be at Maruland. So your first metric is how am I tracking for time? Am I getting to Maruland on schedule? Am I getting to Maruland ahead of schedule, in which case I should slow down? Or am I behind schedule, in which case I need to reassess one of my goals? So that's the first step, is that you've got a metric for the milestone. The first milestone waypoint is one hour and 20 minutes time. So 90 minutes after leaving, you should have attained this goal. Metric number two then emerges to allow you to say, how long should it take me to go from point to point? So from the Maruland to, and you can even submetric this, you can now bring this down and say, okay, going from Maruland to Pheasant's Nest. Right, this should be done about 40, uh, 50 minutes. It's about 80 kilometers. So you now have another waypoint marker of after 90 minutes, you should be at point A. Inside the hour after that, you should be at point B. Then that gives you a clarity in terms of if you're tracking on schedule, once you clear past the pheasant's nest interval, you know how long you've got left until destination. What you also get, if you look here at the Google Maps, is all the way through this, you have a set of actions that support your milestones and your metrics. So to get from the university to Maruland to 7-Eleven to Sydney, a sequence of steps. Each of these steps can be sub-measured of, did I achieve this, did I do this, have I taken that path? All of them lead towards the milestone, and the milestones here being two waypoints on a journey. Those two milestones lead towards the attainment of a goal, going from point A, the, or point A and U, to Sydney. And this is the sort of way I want you thinking about how do I turn a goal, achieve my destination, into a set of waypoint markers, waypoint markers with distinct measurements that can tell me whether I'm tracking to be on schedule, behind schedule, and steps, instructions for myself of how to reach those markers so I know what I need to do in order to be at a point 
that i can measure did i achieve what i set out to do.